Big, juicy, gorgeous, perfectly seasoned. That's me. <laughs> okay, but we're not talking about you today, Russ. Today we're talking about the five best places you can find a burger in Racine. Ah. But you're not a burger. And <laughs> nobody else can have you besides me. So let's tell people about where they can get a great burger if they're going to be here in the Racine area. Oh, and at the very end, we're going to tell them which one of these burger places also has your favorite side accompaniment. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you do like it, don't you? Stick around, guys. We'll be right back with that. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Well, welcome back, everybody. And today we are covering what we consider to be the top five burger places in Racine. Do you want to put any caveats on that, Russ? Yeah, these are our choice of the top five. Obviously, there are so many burger places in and around Racine. And as much as possible... But we've just narrowed it down to our top five. Yeah, and as much as possible, we tried to... We didn't go for things like McDonald's or Burger King or Wendy's because those are franchises that are everywhere. Uh, but we do have two franchises that are quite prolific across the United States on our list, but that's because locally, at least, they create really great burgers. So yeah. we're not saying that these franchises, everywhere they are, create great burgers. We don't know. But the local locations, the local franchises, do a really good job with a burger they do. for these two. But we're going to start with our number five, which is Charcoal Grill, at least the one out on Highway 20. There yeah. are two Charcoal Grills in town. We've never actually been to the one on the north side. I know, shocking. But we have been to the one out on Highway 20 quite a few times. And their burgers are really good, aren't they? They are. They're really good, juicy. Um, Big. They'll cook them how you want them. Yep, they will cook you them know, to if taste. If you want them pink or, or not pink. Yep. And, and they're really tasty burgers. Yeah. Absolutely. So one of the nice things about them is Charcoal Grill is really easy to get to. It's a sports bar as well. So it has um, a good range of drinks to go with it if that's what yep. you're looking for. Because a lot of people like a beer and a burger, you know, mm -hmm. so if that's what you're looking for. So one of the reasons why we really like Charcoal Grill is because they have something that's kind of unique. Not every place has this. It's very unique, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not, I mean, I've seen it in other places, but not in Racine. You don't see this a lot. And mm -hmm. that is their Fixins bar. So you can go yeah. up and actually put your stuff, like you can, um, it, you know, you can go up and it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a salad bar, but it also has a lot of Fixins for your, for your for burger your burgers, too. Yeah. yeah. So you can add other things to your burger um, with it. So they've got the charcoal burger. They've got a charcoal mel uh, melt. Um, which has like a marbled rye and, you know, they've got a lot of really, really good, interesting burgers. They, that's their, that's the charcoal melt, the picture they've got their, on their website, the pictures are wrong. Like they're not always matched up with the menu item actually, mm -hmm. cause that's clearly rye, but they also have the, oh, that's the Brooklyn, which is basically a Reuben sandwich with a burger on it. Yeah. So that's kind of nice as well. So anyway, so Charcoal Grill, though, they do cook a really nice burger. And see, to me, it's not just about what types of burgers they have or the options for it, but it's how, do, how well do they cook them. Yeah. And I think they cater to a lot of taste. So, like, for your example, for yourself, Russ, how do you like a burger? I like a burger, burger medium well. Right. And see, and I would like mine medium rare. Yeah. Because, well... I would have a burger completely rare, rare if I could have it, but I, you can't mm -hmm. get that when you're out and about. So I prefer a burger that's rare, as rare as possible, and you prefer one that's more on the medium well or me, even medium you're okay with for yeah. a burger. But the nice thing is when you go to a place like Charcoal Grill, they will actually cook it to order as far as like the, the yeah. temperature. Uh, you so, want it. Yep. And not all places are going to do that. So that's one of the reasons why Charcoal Grill is our number five in our top five places. Yes. All right. And Russ, what is number four? Number four is Hardee's. Yeah, so, I mean, Hardee's is a franchise. And yeah. there are people who are like, wait a second. You said you weren't going to put McDonald's or burger. No, but I think Hardee's is a little different. They just have, their thing is burgers. Like, yeah. burgers and then their curly fries. That's kind of the two things they're known for. With Hardee's, one of the really cool things about Hardee's, at least, um, and I don't know if they're everywhere. Carl's Jr. is also Hardee's, but we don't have Carl's Jr. here. We have a Hardee's in Racine or Mount Pleasant. And the thing I really like about their burgers is they've got quite a few, like, 
really interesting ones. They even have a triple. Yeah, they even have a triple burger. But they have a mushroom and Swiss burger. They have a... Um, they have a, they still have their Frisco burger. So one of the things I like best about Hardee's, and I have loved this for decades, ever since they first brought it out, and I can't even remember how long that's been, because I was a young adult or an older teenager, which means that's mm -hmm. like 30 years ago that they brought out their Frisco burger. And their Frisco burger is not served on a bun. And back in the day, that was really unusual. It's yeah. on like two thick pieces of Texas toast, which I loved that. Made with sourdough. It's like a sour, and that's what made it the Frisco burger. Mm -hmm. That was part of what made it the Frisco burger. But I'm also a huge lover of mayonnaise on a burger. Yeah. You? And Yeah, I like mayonnaise, but I also like ketchup. Yeah, and I don't like ketchup on a burger in general. Sometimes I'll put ketchup on my burger, but it has tomatoes on a bur on the Frisco burger. Mm -hmm. So it has tomatoes, it has mayonnaise, it has Swiss cheese, and... Um, bacon, I believe, right? Let yeah. me see. Crispy yep. bacon. It's got bacon, Swiss cheese, um, mayo, tomatoes. What's like not slices to like of about that? I know. Awesome. And I love the Texas toast versus a burger bun. I've mm -hmm. always liked that sort of thing. So for me, Hardee's, that's why Hardee's is number four on our list. That's what, I mean, that's one of the reasons why we like Hardee's. But number three on our list is... Cupies. Cupies, yeah. So Cupies is a very traditional. Now, I mean, you don't know anything about Cupies, really. No, other than driving past and, and thinking, your internet research. Wow, this looks like a throwback from the sixties. It's like that type of uh, of burger joint. You know, it, you see, you know, like the Fonz and Happy <laughs> Days and the burger joints, and it it reminds me of that type of place. You know the checkered floor and things like that. It, it just has that It's feel. a nostalgic. Is what yeah. you, I think the word you're looking for is it's a nostalgic burger place. Yes. It has a lot of nostalgia behind it. It has and a I, lot of... I always, every time I pass it, I think, I have to go in there one day. I haven't been in there yet. <laughs> well, and I can tell you, it really depends. Here's the reason. See, here's the thing. Cupies is actually not on my list of favorite burgers. So what's kind of interesting is that Cupies is on our list for a really different reason. It's number yeah. three because I don't particularly like Cupies and you've never been. So why did Cupies make our list of the top five places? Because everybody talks about Cupies. Yeah. You know, I've I've heard other people that are saying, oh, have you been to Cupies yet? You know, knowing I'm a Brit and I'm not from here, um, and it's lots now been of people nine years. are always recommending I try their favorite restaurants. Right. Um, and Cupies is one you hear Cupies a lot. Cupies is one I hear because a lot. Because their reviews, it's either people love them or hate them. Yeah. It really is. Now, first of all, I do love the nostalgia of the place. It has a really yeah. cool it's nostalgic vibe. a real vibe. cool look. That, the cool look. And their food is not bad food. Okay? So I don't uh -huh. want to make it sound like their food is bad. It's not bad at all. My favorite kind of burger, though, is not a smashed fully cooked through burger that's really greasy yeah. i don't i don't my favorite burger is not a greasy spoon burger so that's why it's not my favorite place to go but it is a very tasty burger it's well seasoned um it does have that very nostalgic you know grease running down your chin kind of thing i also don't like messy food in general so yeah that's just kind of a me thing though and there are so many people who love cupies and think cupies is like the best place ever to go yeah and they do have some of the other stuff as well like the shakes and and they do make a homemade root so beer they have there. shakes they still have old-fashioned malts because a lot of places yeah. like you know mcdonald's and other places that do shakes they don't do malt still so you've got shakes you've got malts um and you said they have a homemade root homemade beer. root beer and fried green tomatoes yeah so there's a lot of so. really cool reasons to check out cupies and i did enjoy it when i went so i didn't dislike it it's just that there are well our number one on our list is my favorite. And if I've yeah. got to choose, and um, I'm, that's where I'm going to go. But we'll get to that in a minute. So uh -huh. number two, though, on our list of places to go for might burgers. Might surprise a lot of people. Yeah. It, it might surprise a lot of people. But in Racine, it would be number two on the list. Yeah. It ranks, in my opinion, above Cupies because I just like their burgers better. And that's Culver's. Culver's has got a really great burger. Their Again, butter burgers are really, really good. Yeah. And I mean, they do smash them down and cook them fully through. and But they're not as greasy as Cupies. No. Which is why I like them better. It's mm -hmm. literally, that's the only reason I like them better. 
because I like uh, the flavor of both of them is good. But from Culver's, your burger's not going to be quite so drippy, greasy. No. It's a little bit more, um, not dry, but a little bit more cleaned up, shall we say. Yeah. Um, and so, love that. And should we tell them about, like, your favorite thing, though, about Culver's? That, because if you're going to have burgers, you're also going to have fries. Yeah. And so I only found out about this recently. I think it was kept as a trade secret or either well, that. Well, I didn't try it. Or, or they, <laughs> they don't, somebody doesn't want me to eat too many fries. Well, I don't want to. That, that would be me. I don't want you to eat too many fries. Neither of us need fries yeah. in our life. We don't, I don't think there's anybody that actually needs fries, but they are. Yeah. Fries are really yeah, good. really good. Fries are really good. But and they are Culver's do a family portion of fries. Yeah. So you know the big tub that you get your fish fry okay. in? Well, wait, wait, stop. It's not a tub, but the styrofoam, the, the, the container, the plastic container that an uh -huh. entire meal comes in is what you're referring to. Yeah. When you get a fish fry, when you get their cod dinner, uh -huh. not their baskets or anything like that, but their cod dinner comes in this square plastic container. And they mount the fries up in that. <laughs> So they and fill up this whole container really with fries, and Russ has only recently discovered this because we don't actually usually get them when we get a burger and fries, and that, no. we don't actually do that. We usually get the small ones, but for a family, it just makes sense. It's a bargain. It, it, and see, that is the thing that he also didn't know about is how cheap they were. So in this area, at least at this time, at the time of taping, yeah. you can get this entire family fry, and I'm not exaggerating when I say the container is about this big, like yeah. this big by this big. That's the size of the plastic mm -hmm. container. It's about this deep, and it's probably about that much full, because the lid isn't full. No. But it's about half, like, the the lid's on top of it, and so up to the lid, though, is definitely full of yeah. fries, and it's under six bucks. Yeah. So under six bucks for this big thing of fries to go with your burgers. And because their burgers are so nice, it's kind of nice. If you have a family, that's a really bargain way. Just get individual burgers for each of the kids, yeah. and get a family thing of fries for them, and boom, You've really cut you, your cost you're down. You're covered, yeah. Yeah, you've really cut your cost down, which means you then have room for their custard if yeah. you decide to do that, because that's oh, your other yeah. favorite at Culver's. That's but we're not going to go into that. Favorite. We're not talking about custards today or, or ice creams. We're just talking about burgers. But we do love a good Culver's burger. The mm -hmm. thing I like at Culver's is they do have a mushroom burger as well. Some places yes. don't do mushrooms. And um, number four on our list, Hardee's, they also have a mushroom burger. But not a lot of places still do mushroom burgers, and I like mushrooms. They do have onions as well, like fried onions you can yeah put on their burgers so they have some really really nice things about their burgers so that's why that's why culver's is number two it's, on our list of places yeah. to get a great burger in racine mm -hmm. um, especially for a family but number one number one we've is talked about we've talked about number one for years favorite. yeah we've we've spoken about them for years to almost everybody as well we've gone there on numerous occasions and that's Toad Hall. Toad Hall in downtown Racine. And this yeah. is one of the reasons why we don't go to QP's very much, because they're both in the downtown Racine area. Yeah, they're very and close to each other. Location-wise, yes. But if I'm going for a burger and I'm anywhere near Toad Hall, I'm going to Toad Hall. Yeah, exactly. So their menu, though, includes um, quite a few different... Um, quite a few different... Now, they also have some really good... They used to have more burgers... Let's be honest. Yeah. They actually used to have a lot more burgers. And now, not so many burgers, but they still have they still have burgers. Yeah, they still have some good burgers, and some of them are competition winners. Yes. Winners. They they I think on their current menu they've got two competition winners. Yep. And they have um, some really interesting ones. But from previous times, they would have probably about 12 burgers and Eight or nine of them were competition winners from different right. years. Well, so here's the thing. And like Charcoal Grill, they will cook it to order as far as like temp goes. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the other reasons they're number one, because they will cook it to order with temp. Number two reason that they're at the top of our list is because they have some really interesting burgers. So I'm going to say a couple. Of them. So they have like the grilled cheese burger. Yeah. And people are like, you mean they just take a cheeseburger and they grill it? No. It says, no, that isn't a typo. We take our burger and place it between two grilled cheese sandwiches so the grilled cheese sandwiches are the bun of yeah. the burger uh -huh. <laughs> so it is a grilled cheese burger and of course it still has look if you're gonna have that much meat and cheese and 
you know, really bad for you, probably. You got to throw in the fact that lettuce, Buddhist tomato, and onion. Yeah. <laughs> you got to throw in lettuce and tomato <laughs> and onion to make get some veggie in there. But yeah, so they have a really interesting, they have the grilled cheeseburger. Um, they have, of course, have a breakfast burger, which has a fried egg on it. And a lot uh-huh. of people are really getting into the whole have an egg on top of your burger. burger. Uh, they have the NWA, which I like because that has um, basically cream cheese, spicy sriracha, Love that. It's got a sriracha mayo and avocado and cucumber salad. Yeah. Which is nice. So their NWA is a really, really nice. Um, they've got, I've got 99 Poblanos burger. Yeah. So they have some really interesting burgers. The Green Monster is a good one as well. Yeah. That was their, that was their 2016 That was actually winner. designed it by, designed, sorry, by. Vegetarian. Yeah. Vegetarian. Not a vegan. So, but they improved it because they added meat. <laughs> so they're and resident it veget- yes or they said you can enjoy it like a normal human yeah. <laughs> i love the fact that they have a sense of humor on their menu too yeah honestly their atmosphere there is one reason we go there and i will say if you like really interesting different types of beer like stuff you won't find anywhere else toad hall also has that so if you yeah, like the whole do. beer and burger combo that you will find some really different choices um yeah both in the burgers and in the beers at Toad Hall. But not just the burgers and the beers. I mean, look at the Trojan horse. I know. Well, you want to say? It's a Greek burger. Yeah. And it's made with... Gyro. Gyro. Feta, tomatoes, onions, yeah. tzatziki sauce. Yeah. yeah. Great. It's just they have such really interesting burgers. Of course, you can get just a regular burger if you want. Uh huh. So it doesn't mean that the members of your party that don't want to try something interesting, you know, have to go with one of these odd ones out so to speak but the other stuff that they have that a lot of people don't know about is you know a lot of people have burgers and fries or burger and that's pretty much mm-hmm. it when you go to a burger place it's fries is your accompaniment usually um obviously you go to culver's you can get like coleslaw instead on you know if it's a meal or something but what i love about toad hall is that they have things like tater tots yeah so instead of having fries you can have tater tots um they, they do loaded tater tots as they have well, mexican corn really as well good. mexican corn spicy mustard slaw yep. Yep, exactly. So they have, t- you can have, instead of having fries with your burger, you can have tater tots with your burger, or you can have Mexican corn with your burger, mm-hmm. or you can have their cucumber salad with your burger. So it's like, I love the fact that they have a very creative menu and a delicious burger to boot. Because it's not just about the fancy different types of things. No. The actual burger itself is a really they good work. quality. Yeah. The, they're is. really, the, the, the meat itself and the buns that they put with it, they are very, very All tasty. All the accompaniments that they put with it. Just makes it shine really even more. Really work, yeah. Yeah, it just makes it shine even more, so... But yeah. anyway, so if you are coming to Racine or if you are living in Racine and you want to go to a great burger place, that's our list of top five. So number five, Charcoal Grill, number four, Hardee's, number three, Cupies, number two, Culver's, and number one on our list of top burger places in Racine is Toad, Toad Hall. Hall. So hopefully that helps you out. And by the way, we have not been sponsored by any of these places. This is just by us. They don't even know we're doing this video. We yeah. may send it to them just so they can use it to promote their businesses. Yeah. But they they don't even know we're doing this video and we are not sponsored by any of them. We um, would like to say, though, if you found any value in this, please do us a favor. Click the like button. Subscribe. And don't forget, turn that notification bell on so you, so don't, you don't miss any, any of content. our content. Yep, exactly. And, of course, we do want to see your comments below. So please drop us a comment. If you disagree with our list of these top five burger places, what's your top five? What's your number one that we may have left off the list? Put a comment below and let us know if you think we're wrong. Of course, if you have never been to any of them, kind of hard to say we're wrong but anyway yeah. let us know what your favorite burger place is or if you agree with our top five burger picks for Racine and thanks for joining us and stick around for the outtakes <laughs>